Yes, and today I want to show you how to install Newton OS on your Mac. Uh, in this case, we use the Einstein emulator, and the OS is Catalina. Um, so, first step, um, I made a little cheat sheet, and that's at electrictrick.com. L-E-L-E-K, -E a little bit the German spelling. Newton here is a tab called Newton. And on the very first page, I started to write down what I did. This might have changed by now a little bit, but the gist of it is probably the same. If anything, it just became easier. Okay, create a folder named Einstein in your home directory. Let's do that. Here we have uh, previous attempts of recording this. Um, let's go home and let's make a new folder named Einstein and open that and keep it ready here on the side. Okay, next step, um, download Einstein 2020.1. zip. This is probably by, or hopefully by now, 0.5 or whatever. And uh, you see here that in our downloads directory, um, Apple was so nice to put our Einstein app in there already and uncompressed it just to show how that's done man manually. Uh, we take a new uh, folder window, uh, we go to our downloads directory and you see already it's the Einstein app is there. Uh, if it is still compressed it says Einstein da 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 dot zip. Just double click it and it will create exactly this for you. Move it over into our Einstein directory in the home. So we have it available there at all times. Okay, what does it say next? Uncompress, uh, download the ROM file. Well, the ROM file, you know, you can download it from a machine. Uh, that would be the legally correct way, assuming you have a license anyway, because you own, of course, one of those machines. Uh, you can see if you find uh, the ROM somewhere in the internet. Let's go into our uh, downloads folder again, and there's our ROM, 717006.rom, 8.4 MB. If uh, we go on Apple information, um, it should be exactly uh, 8,000, uh, 8 megabytes. We can uh, check that if we go into the calculator and I copied the size over and we divide it by 8 and we divide it by 1024 and the remainder is still 1024 though. So the size is okay. Let's move it over. So we have the ROM, we have the Einstein. Uh, what does the cheat, cheat sheet say next? Um, run Einstein by double clicking. Okay, now since I am not a registered, um, registered developer, but I'm not a verified developer, uh, Einstein uh, is not signed the way that Apple would like it. So it complains and it says it cannot be opened because it cannot check for malicious software. I've tried to not put anything malicious in there. If you would like to open the software, nevertheless, go to System Preferences. And here you have a security and privacy setting takes a little while and there it says in the general tab Einstein was blocked from use because it's not from an identified developer we're rebels we say open anyway and then we use our password or a fingerprint and it says oh it still cannot be opened don't worry it now has the open option down here okay now Einstein is actually running. Um, the system still wants to make sure that everything's safe and we would like to have access to your contacts. Don't worry, we don't download them and send them around. Um, but we would like to fill your names card in Newton, in Newton OS. So click OK. If you don't allow it, that's fine too. So in the meantime, let's quit the preferences. And now what you see here under all those windows is the Einstein platform setup. So what do we do? Um, we need to choose where the ROM is. Uh, go on choose and then go on. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, see, I haven't used this in a long time. Uh, go and choose and then go on your home directory and there you find your Einstein directory and there you find your ROM or you just drag the ROM in there. It's the same difference. Open that and now it says here users, your name, Einstein and the ROM. Uh, we need to to store the flash file somewhere and it suggests a file in the middle of the operating system. I wouldn't do that because uh, it's very helpful sometimes to uh, just uh, exchange the flash file for another one. So make this into the big dialog and we have our directory here that we created earlier and save as flash I like to capitalize it so this is where uh, the whole Newton OS flash a copy of that will be stored and uh, we can actually it will appear here and we can copy that and um, oh come on what are you doing um, <laughs> we can copy the flash and uh, restore previous flash versions which is very comfortable very convenient okay get our Einstein window back screen we can change the screen size um, for development I would like to keep it the original size so everything I write will run on original machines but if you want more you can do more same as with memory if you want more you can do more screen drivers Coco audio drivers core audio network drivers user mode and the external serial port driver that's the serial port that we need to um, connect to uh, NTK or other synchronization tools and in the newest version it offers uh, pseudo terminal name pipes which I believe works with NCX and uh, we want to choose network client because the network client allows us to connect through Basilisk right away to NTK the Newton toolkit for developing apps well if you don't want to develop apps it's fine you don't have to set this don't show it start up because we don't want to see this uh, dialogue all the time start and booting woohoo there we are so a few things happened first of all we have the welcome screen of Einstein uh, we have Einstein the ROM the ROM image don't worry about that file you can delete it but it will come back all the time and we have the flash here and this is exactly what I was talking about everything you do on uh, your Newton OS now will be stored in this flash file so if you want to back it up just copy it and if you want to have a completely different configuration just exchange flash files and uh, you're fine so welcome to our continue con so well all it did was find my first name which is not too impressive uh, we can select our country later and our address and everything mm, set today's date leave it as it is right now because uh, we need to patch the ROM to be able to set uh, dates in the 2020s um, I'll try to do that in a later video same with the time I don't care right now uh, handwriting uh, sign my name la 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 I have an awesome signature okay congratulations and this is uh, the message pad the the way it used to be in 1994 what was it um, pretty awesome you can try to write something of course I can't with the mouse and then if you want to delete it just okay. cross it out and you get your little cloud um, one thing that's more than in the original here in the extras folder you have a program called newt test newt test is part of einstein not of newton or comes with einstein and it's this little app um, where you can go to speed loop iterations and start and this number will tell you how fast einstein will run any number over 8,000 is very bearable. Um, here we have 20,000, which is nice sometimes, uh, depending on the version of Einstein. This is the emulation speed. I get 30,000. So the faster we emulate, the better your experience. Stop, close, and uh, 
Yeah. That's it.